Hi everybody, it's Natalia from My Nouveau Mode, and I'm coming today from my kitchen. I'm sharing something a little bit different, but I thought it was too fun not to share. You guys are going to thank me later, trust me. I'm going to share with you a fun summer dessert. You know all those 4th of July barbecues or family get-togethers, something where you're asked to bring something, and it ends up being the same old thing every time. I feel you, because I do that too. So. This one is going to be the talk of the party. You guys are going to love it. The kids are going to love it too. It's super creative and perfect for summer. I don't know if you've seen it anywhere, but it's called sand pudding. And don't be scared. You're not eating sand. It's just a look-alike, but it's so delicious. Everybody will love it. And it's a no-bake dessert, so you don't have to heat up your whole house while you're preparing it. Super simple. Let's get started. So what you need for the sand portion is vanilla wafers. I accidentally got reduced fat, but you don't have to. Um, Oreos, and you'll just need one or two. You don't need the whole packet. I just couldn't find a smaller packet of that. French vanilla pudding, Cool Whip, cream cheese, powdered sugar, butter, milk, and a food processor to create the sand. Um, and, you know, for effect, it's super fun to build the layers in a bucket. So, this one comes full where you can be served with an actual scoop. It's totally cute, you guys will see. So let's get started. First, we're going to create the sand. You're going to take a whole box of your vanilla wafers and just dump them in the food processor. I'm going to turn on the food processor and then add Oreos one at a time so that I can get the color of sand that I want. Okay, let's check out what our sand's looking like. So we have here a whole bag of vanilla wafers and two Oreos, and that looks like I just went to the beach. Look at that sand. And it tastes good, you guys. It also smells good. Okay, so that was one packet of vanilla wafers and two Oreos. You can add more Oreos if you want it a little bit darker, but you just do it until you get the consistency you want. I suggest starting with one or two Oreos and then working up from there because unless you have an extra box of vanilla wafers, it's just too much of a hassle to add more wafers. So we got our sand, let's move on to our pudding. Okay, for our pudding, we're gonna go ahead and start with some Philadelphia cream cheese, softened. So mine's been sitting here on the counter for the last 30 minutes or so, so it should be pretty, pretty soft. And butter, powdered sugar, and that's it for now. Okay, so success. I opened the fruit cheese. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump that in there. Put my trash right here. Powdered sugar. Okay, so now for the um, pudding part, I mixed together the cream cheese, powdered sugar, and butter right here, and I'm just gonna set that aside for a second. And then we're going to use, um, I mentioned that it was pudding, French vanilla, but I didn't say that it needs to be instant, because that's the whole point, that this is an easy dessert. So, instant vanilla pudding. I'm gonna go ahead and open this one, hopefully I don't have the same problem as the uh, cream cheese. And you're gonna take two packets and put them in two, and, three-fourths cup of milk. Okay, so as you can see, the pudding right now is really runny, but because it's instant, it'll set up and that will help to make the pudding base of our sand pudding. So now that we have this all set, all mixed together, we're gonna go ahead and add it to our cream cheese mixture. So I'm just gonna pour it in and then mix it all together. Oh, 
Okay, as you can see, the pudding mixed with the uh, cream cheese mixture that we already have, see how it's already set up? It's already nice and thick, but as if that weren't enough, we're gonna go ahead and add the Cool Whip. I'm gonna add one and a half of these nice little things. And you really, for the Cool Whip, you're gonna just fold it in. You don't wanna blend this part. Keep the nice fluffy texture. So there's one. If you were like my mom laughing at me for the small spatula, I switched it out, we're good now. So go ahead and fold in the Cool Whip. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in half of this one. As you can see, we got nice and fluffy sand pudding. Well, pudding for the sand pudding. So we already did the sand. And after I go ahead and mix this up, we're going to layer it into the bucket. And you guys will see it looks super cool. And then the top layer is a layer of sand, obviously. So it looks like you're bringing a bucket of sand to the barbecue. But everyone's pleasantly surprised as they take a scoop of this delicious pudding. And the wafers and the Oreos together make it such a fun dessert. So now we have our bucket, we're gonna go ahead and build up our sand pudding. I do wanna mention though, that you don't wanna make, you don't wanna build the sand pudding ahead of time because it will just make the sand soggy and that's kinda gross. So what you can do if you're looking to get ahead of the game is just make the pudding and make the sand, keep them separate, and then on the day of the barbecue before you leave, just layer them in your bucket and you're good to go. So we're gonna start with a big layer of pudding on the bottom of the bucket. My kids are gonna be so happy because I'm doing this for the video so there's real no special occasion and they're gonna be super stoked that they get to be my little testers. So there we go. And we're gonna take some sand and layer that on as well. A layer of pudding, a layer of sand, and then we're just gonna keep going until you reach the top of the bucket or as much sand and pudding as you have. The last layer you want to make sure you cover everything so that it looks like you're bringing a pail of sand to the barbecue. So I layered mine on and then I'm just going to go ahead and, and put it up to the sides gently because we got enough sand on top to move it around and see, voila, it looks like a pail of sand that you're bringing to the barbecue. Then you go ahead and take your little serving spoon, also a shovel, which is totally cute, stick it in and you have got sand pudding. So there you have it folks. We did it. We have our sand pudding. It looks just like a pail of sand that you're going to bring to the barbecue. It even acts like sand with the way that you put the shovel in and the way that it bunches up and stuff. It's really, really cool. And maybe your friends and family haven't seen this recipe before. So you will be a total hit at your next family barbecue or 4th of July. This is the perfect dessert for summer. You guys are going to love it. Um, I do want to mention, just in case people don't really think this through already, this bucket was purchased specifically for sand pudding and has never been used outside. I don't let my kids add real sand to this. It is specifically for this pudding. This is why we bought it. It's been a family recipe for years. So this one just stays in the shelves, ready to go for summer months when we bring sand pudding to our fun barbecues. And it actually comes with a cute little top, so if I wanted to pull the shovel out and transport it, good to go. Anyway, I think I'll serve myself up a piece of sand pudding. Now, we've been doing this family recipe for years. My mom did it when I was younger growing up. Always loved it. Always a hit. So I'm super excited to dive in because it's been a while. Mm. Oh, the cream cheese. So good. Let me tell you, Sam has never tasted so good. 